So I guess this vlog is all about my slow and meandering journey on becoming a better version of myself, which sounds super hippy dip. Anyway, my newest thing is making the bed. <sighs> Because I do not need to rush to the toilet first thing in the morning anymore. Which is a life changer, really. Right, so I'm going to go ask the tax lady what's the hold up, um, then I'm going to go make sure my dad's bills get paid, because that's important, then I'm going to get home and do the mealworm maintenance, which is so overdue, so far overdue. So I fucked up, I thought the appointment was at like 1, apparently it was at 11, but it's all good, I sorted out the client's travel, paid for everything. Um, I don't want to make that mistake again. Anyway, no butt nuggets. So, it's 12 p.m. I have just had lunch, and I have not so much as touched the mealworms, which is annoying because I would have left by now. Those chickens are making some weird noises. I am going to go investigate. The chickens are fine. They were just making noise. But I was thinking, maybe that doesn't belong up there. Right, so I still got phone coming out because I didn't quite get everything. So here we clearly have a problem, but over here is nice and clean. This fridge is good. Those two need a little bit more food, but that's it. Done. Right, now it's time for the nasty fridge. These ones used to be my old breeding colony until, you know, they started dying off. So I collected all the leftovers and put them in these trays to see what came out. We have signs of life. So I just picked up five mealworms in like 30 seconds which means I'm gonna have to sift this through because there's a lot more in there right so that's pure frass at 70 grade that's leftovers at 30 here's what comes out at 12 here's the leftovers I do not understand how the grading system works. it's American I'm just going with what I know right so that's a lot left over right so I've got a theory um mealworms might float they might sink. Some other things might float. Some other things might sink. I'm hoping that I can separate them. Millworms sink. Everything else floats. Right, I need to make a plan. This is awesome. That was a whole flock of pigeons up there. Well, that's not cool. Also, you know how some insects can go underwater for like a couple hours and have no issues? M mealworms are not like that. They drown fast they were in there for like a minute they're, they're dead now so i've resorted to picking them by hand turns out only half of them drowned another half can just go in the bucket genius that sucked i'm gonna try drowning them again so i'm gonna put that lot in there it has a hollow base i'm gonna use that one to scoop out the floaty then i'm gonna lift up the sinking mealworms like so right so i've got to do this lightning fast i cannot film this that went much better. I think the cold water stuns them a little bit. I have thought of a way to make this go quicker. So I'm going to give that a try. See that guy? He was playing dead for five minutes. I mean, I guess I look a bit like a bear, but playing dead is not helpful at this time. So when a human gets hypothermia, you wrap them up and make them warm, right? These guys are cold. So put some hot water in a tray, put them on top of the tray, and now they're wriggling around. This fridge is perfectly fine. That tray has a few beetles in it, but honestly, they can stay there for right now. I'll pour these mealworms in here. That's some leftover. This one is empty and I will be moving it. It is the shortest one. I don't like it. It shall be replaced. These trays are doing fine. Those two needed feeding. Those two needed feeding. That one was two. I combined them and also fed them. Those guys seemed a little bit lonely and they're from the same batch, so it doesn't really matter. Right, now let me spray them. It's a lot harder when you first start. Right, that's done. It's now 5.30 and I haven't touched my references. That's... I'm at uni, I've had dinner, and I've taken the dog 
for a really quick jog around the block. Okay, so it was a walk with a little bit of jogging. But still, I did it. It's now 6.40 and I've got two hours to reference the shit out of this thing. 9.30, a quarter of the references are done. They were actually the harder ones. I spent half an hour trying to reference the Geneva Convention. I ended up um, referencing a prosecution guide or something. Could not, for the life of me, reference the Geneva, the Geneva Convention. Okay, so technically I could find the one on POWs, but I was looking for the genocide one. Because we're talking about population control. And murder is bad. I see the convenience in pre-making my bed. Good morning. I have put the chicken feed in the shed. So now hopefully the pigeons don't get it. Or I can trap them all in this building. I was cutting it close last night. But I managed to wake up two minutes before my alarm. And I have now slept in for an hour. If you include the feeding the chickens. But for the week, I'm going to go to the gym. Maybe do a half session so I can make it back in time. And then university. Ciao. And yes, I did make the bed because that was so convenient last night. Right, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to start jogging. to go get Maccas for breakfast because a couple patties and a few eggs is very cheap for a breakfast but um they were running slow so the breakfast today technically there's nothing wrong with a little bit of intermittent fasting and I should probably do it more lunch is packed and more dressed and ready to go I look kind of suave yesterday I wrote the first draft today I found 36 references and now I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want Apparently what I want doesn't matter, because that psycho needs to go for a walk today. Doing whatever I want should not include YouTube. That was dumb. I just had the weirdest dream. I was at, like, the Goraka Fair or something. I was walking home, and there was all my classmates around this thing, my bedroom. And I looked inside. and. It was empty, nothing in there. Like, what the fuck? And they're like, relax, relax, relax. We're going to put ply carpet in there. You'll love it. I don't even know what ply carpet is. All right, can't sleep in too long. It's 6.30 in the morning and I wish I brought my jacket. My legs really hurt, I swear to God. I better not have a leg day today. Okay, so it's like a half leg day. That's, I can do a half leg day. Right, so my throat was parched. I have gotten myself some sparkling coconut water. Super fancy, love the shit. Um, but it does have some sugar in it, and I am slightly concerned something will go wrong. Hopefully it doesn't. I don't know if these dumbasses have figured out that's food yet. I've had breakfast, it's nearly 9am. I'm going to change, because this is not appropriate for university. And then I've got an appointment at 9.30. I also have run out of sardines. So, I'm going to have to go for a walk to Woolworths after my lecture today, because that's the best time. So last night I had some chicken kebabs. I bought them from the shop. They had like a sauce on it. It was like a thick sauce. So it probably had some flour or something. And now, now I'm paying the consequences because I'm on the toilet. I have a field trip tomorrow. At least they taste good. I mean, they're really good. It could have been the coconut. That doesn't make any sense though, because it hasn't been that long. I woke up before my alarm today. Today is a field trip. The plan was to skip gym, because it's going to take like an hour to get there. And today I could have slept in. I didn't. Couldn't. Oh well. Alright, what are the millworms? Here's what the backyard looks like at night time. Right, so I left my place around 6.30, got to a McDonald's near Hellet Cove, um, worked on my presentation for now, needed to figure out what I was going to say. Then I got to the appointed place five minutes early. Everyone else showed up half an hour late. So I'm leaving early because I have a presentation to give. And by God, I am not going to be late for that. This is Sugarloaf, and that over there is the ocean. 
Well, now that's a special kind of pretty. Another pretty vista. Nearly done. Just you need to go downhill. Oh dear God, I nearly did not get through that. I am so glad I did a leg day yesterday. Because this, this hill right here, it hurts. It hurts. I mean, or I could just take itty bitty baby steps. Walk on my tippy toes. But that's slow. Let's go for pain. I am running late. Right, I'm a little hungover, so let's see what I've done. I did the presentation, but last minute they told me to change it a little bit because it was a little too triggering. I had to talk about some uncomfortable shit, and my plan was to go with a whole heap of dark humor underlined with sarcasm to make it funny and palatable. But they didn't like that, so um, I had to change it, which completely threw off the flow of the presentation, and I got stuck a couple of times. Also, due to this presentation, the girl I had a crush on may very well think I'm a misogynistic pig now. Yay! Why, you may ask? Well, I was talking about uh, reproduction in the West and how it's declining because people are having babies later, and I had to talk about risks. And I had to talk about risk factors, which you, you have to do. It's morally responsible to do that. The fact is, as women age, their standards increase, and as they age, men are less attracted to them, and they may very well end up alone. Which is a lot of red pill rhetoric, but it doesn't mean it's not true. So that was fun. Anyway, I edited everything, handed it all up, and hopefully I'd never have to talk to anyone about this presentation or report ever again. Then I went to the shops to get a snack. Oh my god, I found nicely small cut bits of pork belly roast at the shops. And it was hot and yummy, and I liked it, and it filled me up. Then I had some cider because I was sad about the girl and shit. Got my liver cooked in bacon grease. If this doesn't make me sick, it means that I am allergic to garlic and that, that's just sad. Am I a vampire now? Then I gave the chef some eggs from my farm because I like that guy. His name is Jason. Jason's a cool name. Then I got another cider and I don't remember what happened after that, but I feel a lot better. It's now 9 a.m. on a Friday. I have watched like an hour and a half of YouTube videos that I've been meaning to watch. Like these are like educational ones. We're good. I'm being well behaved. And um, I'm about to go to university because I need to catch up on like three weeks worth of lectures and shit. And then at 2 p.m. I'm tutoring someone because they suck at geology because they're not paying attention to be quite honest. But she's like really sweet to me, so it's okay. I don't mind. And then I am taking a client out dancing, because she likes dancing, and I'm half decent. I'm going to have to come up with an actual genuine plan of what I'm going to study today. Otherwise, I will be unproductive, and that would be sad. But for now, I'm going through educational YouTube videos while I've still got the hangover. It's a petty hangover. I'm just using it as an excuse to be lazy, to be quite honest. So I just, I've done absolutely nothing productive today. I did help that girl with the assignment. Um, just watching YouTube and the educational side. I did occasionally get distracted with the shorts, but today needed to be a rest day. Um, I will be disabling YouTube once again before I go to bed. I deserve this. It, it was good. I am not appreciating the disruptions to my sleeping pattern. I didn't get to sleep till midnight last night. Swoosh. I am showered, dressed, and well fed. Also, my YouTube playlist, or my YouTube watch later list, is now two hours shorter. It's nearly 11 a.m. Right, so today does have a plan. We have an inspection on Wednesday, and today is the only day that I can do anything productive in this space at all. So I need to make all this shit pretty. That's a tall order. I also need to move some furniture around because they're blocking the windows, which are apparently fire escape. Five butt nuggets. Chicken feed. Why, why are you using the top? No, I swear to God. They're fighting over it for no reason. All ten of them can probably eat at the same time, but no, only three, and they must argue. 
I have no idea what their problem is. They're acting like they've never eaten before. I guess they did seem kind of happy when I was wetting the seed beforehand, let it expand a bit. <sighs> I, I need to do some more research on that. All right, after some minor existential dread, I think I'm going to start here. Right, so this here is a throwback from when I was experimenting with duckweed. Um, one of them dried out completely, and it's now a mat. I'm going to see if the chickens like it. Right, so with inspections, we keep the dog out the back so they don't come snooping. They're going to look out that kitchen window. Let's see what they can see. Table chairs, organized dish stuff, garden bed, whole patch of clear land. I mean, it's a bit sus over here, but they usually don't look over that. I think that's pretty enough. Also, with that area clear now, I can possibly start thinking about garden beds, even though I haven't finished the first one. Right, I'm going to bed early, and tomorrow I'm going to the gym. I haven't been in two days. I feel weird now. I feel gross. Gym good. I like gym. What has happened to me? Oh, wow. I was so tired that I fell asleep twice without putting on my CPAP machine thingy. So I didn't put it on until 3 a.m. I did turn off all my alarms so that I wouldn't wake up too early. And, um... Then, oh, then I had nightmares, supernatural nightmares, about about the show. You know, I was in the show. There was vampires and shit. That was um, I wasn't scared, but I did keep waking up. So it, it's now eight a.m. and I'm probably gonna have a shitty day. Not gonna lie. This will be the third day with no gym. That's fun. My jeans aren't as tired as they used to be. It's like very annoying. They keep falling down. I've lost weight, haven't I? Well, my client called to cancel because he did not sleep last night, which means I guess I'm going to the gym in the pretty close. So all those millworms that I drowned last week, they're all perfectly fine. There are a few like beetle carcasses in there, but that they take way longer than that to um die. So I think they were just not filtered out correctly. So it turns out you can drown mealworms. Don't know how I feel about that, but... Right, I've got a lot of time on my hands. I could study, but honestly I don't think I'm in the right mental space for that because of the lack of sleep. So today is going to be a farm day and I need to go back out there and measure something. Right, it's nearly 12. I keep my mealworms in refrigerators. I have measured those refrigerators out so I can buy... Sh bins for them, not shelves. I've measured the shelves for the bins. Also, I'm going to go buy some more chicken feed along with buckets to put those chicken feed in because I don't like keeping them in the bags because they get, they get weird. Right, so I did something I didn't tell you guys about it. I got some sticky traps, cut them up, and taped them onto the bottom of these lids. The plan is to not have another infestation of pantry moth. And no, I did not buy the plastic bins for the millworms, but I got everything else. I don't even seem to have measurements anymore. Right. So it's like 8.30, it's time to walk the dog, reconsider every life decision I've ever made, and go to bed. Peace.